In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the WooCommerce add-on for WP Courseware for selling online courses in three easy steps. Plus, if you hang out till the end of the video, I'm going to give you some bonus information about the WooCommerce add-on for WP Courseware, and you're not going to want to miss that. I'm Ben, and I am the co-founder of Fly Plugins. And on this YouTube channel, we share tutorials, tips, and strategies for creating and selling courses online. You may already know this, but back in 2015, WooCommerce was acquired by Automatic, the company behind WordPress.com, not to be confused with WordPress.org. The reason for this multi-million dollar acquisition was likely because this free plugin gives opportunity to sell premium add-ons. That's likely more than you wanted to know, but there are some benefits to this. That said, it's quite evident that WooCommerce is going to be supported for the long haul. Another benefit is that there are tons and tons of plugins that integrate and support WooCommerce, and you can download those at wordpress.org. Another benefit is that there are thousands of themes that integrate and work hand in hand with WooCommerce. There's an online WooCommerce community that can answer just about any question that you have about WooCommerce. All that to say, WooCommerce is a safe bet. Okay, now that I've assured you that you've made a good choice with WooCommerce, let's get to the tutorial. Before I jump into the tutorial, I want to make sure that we have a few of the prerequisites covered for this tutorial. It's assumed that the following steps have been completed. Okay, so number one, it's assumed that WooCommerce has been installed and activated. Number two, it's assumed that WP Courseware has been installed and activated. Number three, it's assumed that the WooCommerce add-on for WP Courseware has been installed and activated. By the way, the WooCommerce add-on can be downloaded from wordpress.org. Number four, it's assumed that WooCommerce has been set up and the payment gateway is configured. If you haven't completed the prerequisite list, you can still go through this tutorial, but you will need to complete the prerequisite list in order to begin selling courses. Also, I'm going to put a link to all of the plugins I mentioned in the description below. One more thing before we get to the tutorial, I want to show you just briefly the workflow for students for purchasing a course. So basically, a student will come to your website and they will purchase a product that is associated with a course or multiple courses. Next, the student immediately gets enrolled into the course or courses, and then the student can immediately log in and view the course on the My Account page. This workflow is super easy so that you can begin selling courses super fast. Okay, let's dive right in. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to navigate over to WooCommerce settings because I want to show you a very important setting uh, that's required. And if we click on the accounts and privacy tab, you'll notice that the first option here, guest checkout is deselected. The reason guest checkout is disabled is because WP Courseware requires an account. Uh, the reason there needs to be an account is because students have to be tracked uh, as far as progress is concerned, as far as quiz grades are concerned. So we want to make sure that this option is disabled. The other thing I want to show you here quickly is on the advanced tab down towards the bottom, we have the account endpoints. These are all the various tabs that you'll find on the WooCommerce My Account page on the front end. And you'll notice that there is actually a courses endpoint which is new and this is now included in the WooCommerce add-on for WP Courseware. So this adds a courses tab so that your student can see an outline for every course that they are enrolled into. Okay, so now on to the three steps to integrate WP Courseware with WooCommerce. And the first step is to create a product. So we're gonna click products and add new. And I'm going to come in here and give this a name. And for purposes of this demo, I'm not going to add a description. Down here, we're just going to select simple product. And I'm also going to select virtual. Now, why would I select virtual? 
if you'll notice, when I hit virtual, the shipping tab goes away. Since we are selling a course and not a tangible product, there's no need for shipping options. So we're gonna go ahead and select virtual. Now we're gonna go ahead and give our product a price. And I'm gonna set a product image here. And we'll go ahead and categorize it as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and publish. And so now step one is complete. Step two is to actually create a course. So we're gonna go down to WP Courseware and click Courses. And then we're going to click Add New. Okay, I'm going to give this the same name. And I'm gonna add a module. And we'll give it a unit. Okay, so now we've got a basic course set up here. And one thing I wanna point out quickly is that we have an option here for course access. And I get this question quite often. How does this work with the integration? And the simple answer to that is, these options here are completely ignored when you have an integration add-on installed and activated. So you don't have to worry about these. Okay, so now let's go ahead and click publish. All right, step two is completed now. Now what we need to do is we need to associate the course with the product. So step number three, we're gonna go ahead and click on WooCommerce, which is an option under the WP Courseware menu here. And here you'll notice all the products listed here on the left-hand column. And you'll have the courses that they are associated with listed uh, here in each row. Now to actually associate the course with a product, what we need to do is click the button. So I'm going to go ahead and assign courses to the How to Train Dogs 101 product. Okay, so once we are in the configuration screen, you can select a course. And for this demo, I'm actually going to select two courses. So we are going to assign two courses to the How to Train Dogs 101 product. Okay, now we can just simply click Save Changes. Okay, okay, we have completed the three steps that integrates WooCommerce with WP Courseware. And voila, that's it. Now let's take this for a test run. Okay, so let's do a test transaction here and let's purchase a product. So if you notice, we have our How to Train Dogs 101 course here and I'm gonna go ahead and click Add to Cart. And we're gonna go ahead and view cart and the cart looks good, so we'll go ahead and proceed to check out. And you'll notice here at the top, you have an option to log in in case you do already have an account. If not, we will create one. You also have an option for a coupon code to get a discount. And we can go ahead by filling in uh, our name. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and fill in credit card information here. And I do have the Stripe test mode enabled right now, so this will just be a test transaction. Go ahead and click place order. Okay, looks like our order has been placed. Now, if we go ahead and click over to our My Account page, you'll notice we've got some nice nifty little tabs over here on the left-hand side. One of them is Courses. So if you remember, we actually saw that we had a Courses endpoint when we were looking at the uh, account endpoints on the WooCommerce settings page. So if we click Courses, 
you notice we have two courses. So we've got how to train dogs one on one and how to train dogs yearly certificate. So we were enrolled into two courses by purchasing the one product. Okay, that was pretty painless, right? Now I did promise you some bonus information. So if you've stuck around till now, congrats, because you get to hear the bonus information about the WooCommerce add-on for WP Courseware. First, the WooCommerce add-on for WP Courseware is also compatible and integrated with WooCommerce subscriptions. Here's how it works. If your student purchases a product that has a subscription and the subscription goes into one of the following statuses on hold, expired, or canceled, the student automatically gets de-enrolled. You don't even have to configure anything for this to work. It works right out of the box. Another cool thing about the WooCommerce add-on for WP Courseware is that it's already integrated with WooCommerce memberships. Here's how that works. If your student purchases a product that is tied to a membership, and if that membership goes into one of the following statuses, paused, expired, or canceled, the student will automatically get de-enrolled. And again, there's nothing to configure with this. It works right out of the box. Basically, you can set it and forget it. Don't you love automation? I do. If you are excited about selling courses online with WooCommerce, would you do me a huge favor? Would you hit that subscribe button below? Also, if you have any questions or comments about the WooCommerce add-on for WP Courseware, please post it down in the comment section. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.